fun, inexpensive, hands-on, simple and to the point, but deep understanding. And I don't have to buy a lot of manipulatives. Those were a few things that I considered when I bought or was searching for a math curriculum for my girls who are now four and five. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about that. The curriculum that I chose to go with, I ordered it from Rambo Resources. So I'm gonna insert a video on here so you can see like what I actually ordered. Initially, I purchased the curriculum from Amazon. It was about 50 ish dollars for the instructor guide and the workbook. But I went to Rainbow, Rainbow Resources and noticed that it was on sale at least 30 to 40 percent off. So I was able to get two for the price of one. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about why I chose Math with Confidence, what I love about the program so far, and all that comes with it. If you're new here, my name is Shadiamond. I'm a homeschooling mom to a five-year-old, a four-year-old, and I now want a one-year-old. I post about homeschool things, motherhood things, and all of that. So yeah, let's get into the video. As I said in the beginning, I was looking for something that was play-based because, you know, I do have a five-year-old and a four-year-old. My five-year-old is in a first grade level in terms of math. My four-year-old, she's pretty much on a kindergarten level. So I, I didn't want any type of formal curriculum for my four-year-old. I am fine with creating activities coming up with different lesson plans and doing things myself. But sometimes when I'm working with my five-year-old, she really wants to do the same thing. She wants to do her own lesson. She wants to be included. So I said, why not? It's on sale, so I grabbed both of them. When I did my research on here, of course, and from blog posts, um, there were different curriculums that I had to choose from. Um, there were mastery, meaning that the curriculum go over one set topic, like addition, subtraction, money, Go over one set topic until they master that topic and then they move on to something else. And then there's something called spiral approach where you go over different topics and it keeps repeating itself. So you can have addition this day, subtraction this day, um, money this day, all within the same unit. And so I was like, sometimes, you know, that'd be too much. So I'm moving on from the good and the beautiful kindergarten math. I did start with the first grade math for a little bit, but the thing is I didn't print out the whole curriculum. So it's like, hmm. But I wanted something more. I wanted it was kind of dry for me, and my children like to be up and at it. They like to use their hands, so I wanted I wanted something else. So we're transitioning from the good and the beautiful math from my five year old, and I just decided to go with the first grade um, math with confidence for her because you know that's her learning style. So with this curriculum, I love that. It is very simple, but to the point, um, as you can see, you would definitely need both the instructor guide and the student workbook. I want you to see the difference between the thickness because most of the work and most of the things are for you to read, to learn, to understand, and for you to communicate that in a way that your child will understand it, right? And so I'm going to show you like a few pages in the inside of the book, but basically it goes over with the table contents, the things that you would need, the manipulatives the games, the optional picture books and stuff like that. And then what I love about the student workbook is it's not a lot of just copy work. Um, for the first grade level, the only thing you have is a page front and back per lesson. So the front page, I'm gonna show you an example. This is what we covered today. So the front page will be um, a review from the lesson you just learned. And then the back page is going to be something that they had learned prior to. So this is um, about patterns. Each page have each page have trace work. So you will see that on each page. And that's it, it's simple and sweet. So a front page and a back page. And the back page is not necessarily required, but you know, it's very short and sweet, it's not a lot. So I love that about this page. Um, as you can see, you cannot do this curriculum along with just the workbook because it's only like a, a workbook page. And I'm gonna get into the uh, instructor guide, but I wanted to talk about the cost, right? So I initially said that for both of the workbooks on Amazon, it was about fifty dollars. I want to say thirty for the instructor guide and about twenty-ish at the time we're making this video on the student guide. And so on Rainbow Resources, um, obviously most homeschoolers buy their math curriculums and curriculums in general in the springtime. So there'd be a lot of sales, and so I missed out on the first sale, but I'm glad I caught this one. And so I want to say this guy was like maybe 11-ish for the workbook and about 19-ish for the actual instructor guide. So I'm like, ooh, this is very inexpensive. Um, in terms of the manipulatives, I'm going to share more about that too, but I already had at least 80% of the manipulatives that she recommended in this book. The thing that I love about this is even if you don't have the manipulatives, the manipulatives or you cannot buy them, manipulatives are just things that they physically be able to touch and use and grab and stuff like that. So like counting blocks or an actual clock or 
um I don't know, like little dried beans, whatever the case may be. But I had 8% of that. With most mass curriculums, um, they do require you to buy their own set of manipulatives. Or it's not a requirement, but it's an encouragement. And so I had my own little things because I've been doing this for a few years now. And so I've accumulated things over the years. And I didn't want to spend out a whole lot on things that I already had. So that's one thing I do love about that. And then in this book, it also provides you with what you will need. Like a complete materials list. And then if you don't have something like say for instance the pattern blocks it has actual um let me find it it has the actual templates in the back where you have to color code them a certain color and you can cut them out yourself although they recommend that you have the physical they recommend that you have the physical pattern blocks but if you cannot afford it you know or you cannot get it then there are things that you can do besides that so i love that too it's making it accessible to a whole lot of people so now let me show you a part of the book. So with the instructor guide, um, I went through here already. We've already started a few lessons, but I'm just gonna show you what's included. It's well thought out. It's very simple, it's to the point. Start off with the table of contents. And then from there, you can see we're going numbers to 10. That's review, addition to 10, shapes, subtraction to 10, numbers to 20, numbers to 100, as well as length. Addition facts to 20, time and money, subtraction facts in teens, and mental math, and helpful resources. So there's an introduction that kind of tells you what's expected in this book. It says that it's playful, hands-on, and fun, and thoroughly cover, cover um, all the skills needed to be capable at math and confident at math. So there are scripted open and go lessons, there are clear goals, there are notes, and there are checkpoints to let you know whether you need to go over things more or they're able to move on to the next lesson. It also gives you an overview of how to use this book. Um, it tells you about the deep conceptual understanding, proficiency, and the units. It has different units and then it breaks it up by weeks. Each of the units is divided into two to four week lessons. So there are two types of lessons in this book. They have the core lessons that are required and they have um, a enrichment lesson that's on Friday. So this curriculum is designed to be a four day week curriculum, which is perfect because we're doing Monday through Friday and Monday through Thursday. But on Friday, we can probably do these enrichment lessons. Let's get on into the book. It also tells you what you'll need. This is all also another reason why I chose this curriculum because we have many of these things already here. They ask for small counters. We have a lot of those pattern blocks. I did order the pattern blocks. Um, it asks for coins. Um, play coins or real we have both of those here we have play money we also have index cards so it tells you all the things that you will need in here and then it also provides you with some resources in the back so um, but each lesson is laid out to the point where you know what's recommended what's needed and all that so say for instance for unit one numbers to ten you see they have each week laid out so week one is review week two week three etc your child will learn these things during this unit and then recommended math books that are optional already laid out so you can check these out in the library or purchase them or watch a YouTube read aloud whatever the case may be and so yeah and then again it shows you all of these things that you're covering with the extra materials that you would need that you probably already have around your house and I love that it starts with an activity like a warm-up type activity warm-up warm-up lesson then an activity and then it goes through the workbook page which is very very simple it's only front and back so that's a little overview and then they have different games in here um it tells you what you need so i'm going to do a little more flipping through this book i'm not going to go through every single page it also includes the answer key which you probably won't need but it's beneficial once you start to get into advanced math so now that i have to show the instructor guide i'm going to talk a little bit more about um, the pacing of the curriculum. So currently I decided on homeschooling just four days a week, Monday through Thursday. On Friday is review day, it's field trip day, or it's catch up on work that we didn't do throughout the week. And so this curriculum is designed to be a four day curriculum with a fifth lesson that's optional. It's for enrichment purposes. It matches with the books that they have in here. So it's not a requirement it's just extra if you want to do it so i love that about the curriculum it fits in with what we're doing here already um in four day homeschool week some days it's less than that but typically we try to do monday through thursday um and call it a day in terms of the price i'll talk about that in terms of the games so this thing 
the thing about transitioning a four-year-old and a five-year-old to a little bit advanced so to speak math is the fact that it's not necessarily that they can't understand the concepts it's more so the writing part so are they able to do letter formation number formation are they okay with sitting down a long period of time trying to perfect their handwriting and so my four-year-old she's very you know she loves to move she doesn't like to sit down for a long period of time so i was kind of hesitant about introducing the kindergarten works to her but i see that um, the only thing with the kindergarten um workbook it's not even a front and back page it's just a front page and it's very simple so we already got started with the front page and as you can see it's just you're copying one number in the beginning and then you're circling whatever you're covering so this was circling a pair this one was matching the numbers to the quantity one-on-one -on -one correspondence um so yeah that's very simple and i'm like she can definitely handle that and of course if it gets too much for her like if she doesn't want to write we have magnetic letters that we can use and numbers that we can use for her to put it on a dry erase board or something like that. I can do a quick flip through of the kindergarten book to show you that it is very, very reasonable for my four year old. And I'm only doing this because she wants to do work. She asks, can she do something? Can I print her out something? Or can she learn? They always play together. They try to learn together. They try to quiz each other. And so this is very short and sweet. In terms of the time frame, for the kindergarten lessons, I want to say the time frame is about 10 to 20 minutes. And then for the first grade lessons, it's about 15 to 30 minutes, depending on the activities, um, the workbook pages. And if you do warm-ups, um, you can adjust it based on the level of your child, how much they know, how quick they do it. Sometimes we do two lessons in a day. Sometimes we just do one lesson in a day. We're just getting started, so we're doing pretty much review work now. But it has not taken us a long period of time to do it um, anyway. So I can cover math with both of my girls in less than 45 minutes. So I'm thinking it'll be on average about 30 minutes for both of the girls about doing one lesson. And that is something I can get done throughout the day. I am going to... um break it up to where I'm doing one lesson with one girl and then later on after she gets done I do the other lesson with them because I want them to learn math individually I don't want you know the older one button in and answering the questions for the younger one and she doesn't have that understanding yet so we're working out those little kinks right now um so far so good I'm just planning different activities for them so say for instance with Kaziah if she wakes up earlier we're we'll knock her math out first or vice versa if Eliana works up earlier wakes up earlier then I'll knock her math out before Kaziah gets up and because the lessons are so short we're done for the day now the good thing about this is like with the kindergarten lesson say for instance we're talking about number two it'll tell me to hold up two fingers or it'll tell me to have her jump two times or clap two times and those little things are very important for children um that are young they love to move around they love to be involved they love to be silly and so this is something i was looking for in the curriculum i didn't want a lot of workbook pages all of they don't mind but i want them to be active you know move a lot um actually get a deep understanding of what's going on and being able to apply that outside of just a workbook page so that's another reason why i chose math with uh, confidence i am super confident that this is something that we'll stick with so far but of course i'll give you an update now i do have again the first grade version and the kindergarten version so if you're interested in a full flip through of like each pages, how I'll assemble the math kit that they recommend, um, or to see a lesson that we do a lesson in a day, um, I can record a video of us actually doing the lesson like for both grade levels or, you know, math levels or whatever. But so far I am happy. Like they are happy. They're asking to do the work. Um, there are different activities where you have to go outside and grab certain things like yesterday we had to go searching for groups of threes and so they picked out leaves they picked out the little flowers that grow and probably like rocks and stuff like that so it's just giving them a deep conceptual understanding that's something that i was worried about with eliana with the good and the beautiful it was a spiral approach but it was like it wasn't sticking with her so with this curriculum is going to be a deep understanding and not necessarily wide covering so much stuff at one time um but it's more so give you bite-sized pieces but it's going to be applicable to what you're going through so i have to cut this video short but i wanted to share that with y'all i would definitely recommend math for confidence they do have a preschool version that i did not know about but if i had i probably would have started with that one first but yeah see i see you guys in the next video if you want to see the flip through make sure you drop that in the comments if you've used this curriculum and love it let me know that in the comments too and yeah